WWE 2K24 features a ton of easter eggs, secrets and hidden features, though as it's WrestleMania season, in this video which is brought to you and powered by 2K UK, we're going to focus on those related to WrestleMania with 9 more awesome features in WWE 2K24. Number 9. The Cody Vader when opting to play as the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes, his usual entrance will see him walk out from the stage and begin pumping up the crowd before setting off an abundance of pyro. While this is the entrance that you'll see 99% of the time, should you use Cody in the WrestleMania 38 arena, rather than walk out, Cody will use his special Cody Vader entrance which sees him raised up through the stage. While this entrance is unique to WrestleMania 38, should you prefer this version, then you can actually set this as Cody's default entrance, or should you edit Cody and create an entrance and change his motion to Cody Rhodes 2, then this will see him use the Cody 8 entrance in all arenas. Number 8. WrestleMania Entrances Due to the fact that matches within showcase mode don't feature entrances, something that's really easy to miss are the special ones that are associated with the showcase stars. As certain superstars that are unlocked through showcase mode feature special entrances that were unique to that event, with one such example being Shawn Michaels 09, whose entrance sees him descend from above just as he did at WrestleMania 25. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 227 pounds, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels! The passion that Shawn Michaels has for this business is truly indescribable. Being in the ring is heaven on earth to him. Number 7. A Secret Entrance Staying with special showcase entrances, let's talk Andre the Giant. If you use Andre in exhibition, then he'll come out with his regular entrance where he walks down to ringside. However, should you assign Bobby the Brain Heenan as Andre's manager, then this will trigger a secret manager entrance from WrestleMania 3, where rather than walk down to ringside, Andre is driven down to ringside on one of the special ring carts which were used throughout the event. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Bobby Heenan. Number 6. Even More WrestleMania Arenas Thanks to the showcase of the Immortals, 2K24 gives players 16 different WrestleMania arenas to compete in with a selection of arenas from WrestleMania 3 to WrestleMania 39. While the choice of WrestleMania arenas is impressive, should you wish to expand that offering, then heading in to create an arena and checking out the stage templates will reveal 3 additional WrestleMania stages that are available. These include WrestleMania 12, which featured a small tunnel at the entrance, WrestleMania 19, which seen a pyramid of trons in the center of the stage, and a full performance area over on the left, which was the area that Limp Bizkit performed rolling on the actual show. Also available is WrestleMania 29, which comes with a massive recreation of the Brooklyn Bridge, as the event took place nearby and was headlined by The Rock and John Cena. Should you wish to use these arenas but don't have the time to recreate them, then you can head over to the Community Creations tab and perform an arena search for WrestleMania where you'll find many versions of these arenas ready to download. Number 5. WrestleMania X7 Staying with the WrestleMania arenas, let's talk WrestleMania X7 for a moment. Should you make your way over to the stage, then like the event itself, players can climb onto the raised sections displaying the WrestleMania X7 text. These areas work as a mini platform where they also include the ability to use stage finishes and should you have a stored finisher available then you can use it to throw your opponent off the platform. This is not necessary! Don't do this! I don't like this scene at all! Shock slam! What devastation from The Undertaker! Oh boy! Holy hell! That's it! That's it! Number 4. Alternate Endings the 2K Showcase mode featured in WWE 2K24 sees a celebration of 40 years of WrestleMania in a special 2K Showcase of the Immortals, and while it's fun to look back on these matches and relive them, it also makes you wonder how things could have been if results had gone a different way, and that's something that must have also crossed the mind of the game's developers as they've included several alternate endings throughout the mode. 
To highlight some of the more unique ones, we have WrestleMania 10 and the ladder match between Razor Ramon and Shawn Michaels, where both men entered the match claiming to be the Intercontinental Champion, which led to two versions of the belt being suspended above the ring. In reality, this match was won by Razor Ramon and seen him claim both belts, however should Razor lose this match in game, then this will trigger an alternate ending scene in which Shawn Michaels will throw down Razor's championship and go on to celebrate with his own. Moving on to WrestleMania 25, we have another alternate ending featuring the Heartbreak Kid, as this event seen him go up against The Undertaker, only to lose the match and become another name etched into the iconic WrestleMania streak of The Undertaker, which took him to 19 and all. Should the unthinkable happen though, and Michaels defeat The Undertaker in this match, then this will trigger an alternate ending where Michaels reacts in shock to defeating the streak. Here is your Lastly, we have WrestleMania 38 and the in-ring return of Stone Cold Steve Austin, who would go on to make a triumphant return against Kevin Owens. However, should you turn back time and have Owens defeat the Rattlesnake, then this will trigger a special victory scene as Owens mocks the motion of Stone Cold. Here is your winner, Kevin. brings the Texas Rattlesnake down. This is the greatest moment in KO's career. This victory only feeds Kevin Owens' sick obsession with inflicting harm on Stone Cold Steve Austin. There won't be any broken skull beer bashes tonight. However, I cannot wait for the gala celebration on his next KO show. Number three, unique weapons. This one is a nice piece of attention to detail, as rather than use the regular set of weapons, should you check under the ring in classic matches within the 2K showcase, rather than pull out the modern black steel chair, searching under the ring at WrestleMania 10 will see you pull out a cream variant, which was originally used prior to the switch to black chairs during the Attitude Era. This match is also unique in that it features orange ladders rather than black ones, as WWE used to use coloured ladders before switching to black. Number 2. Now Showing When playing matches in the WrestleMania 21 arena, you'll notice that the stage is modelled around a movie premiere to fit the show's tagline of WrestleMania Goes Hollywood, and as part of that, the right side of the stage features an old-school Now Showing board, which at the time of the event would show the participants of each match. Rather than do that in-game, the Now Showing board is frozen in time for the showcase match between Kurt Angle and Shawn Michaels, as regardless of the match you play, this match will always be shown on the board. Number 1. Muhammad Ali as the Special Guest Referee When Muhammad Ali was announced for WWE 2K24, we all assumed that his inclusion would see him feature in 2K's Showcase of the Immortals, as Ali served as the Special Guest Referee in the main event of WrestleMania 1. While that bout didn't make the list of matches featured in the showcase, should you select Ali's referee attire when assigning him as the referee in a special guest referee match, rather than don the traditional black and white stripes, Ali features his original referee attire from WrestleMania 1. Please welcome the special guest referee for this match, Muhammad. As well as featuring his own attire, assigning Ali as the referee will also trigger some special commentary as the announced team will react to his role as the official and bring up his appearance at WrestleMania. It really is an honor and a privilege to have Muhammad Ali in our ring tonight as our guest referee. This man is the original special guest referee in WWE. I agree completely. The greatest is really elevating this match by being the one to call it. And I think we can all trust Ali with this position. He knows how important it is to have an impartial official in the ring with you. Big thank you to Muhammad Ali. This was a special event to have an all-time great calling the shots. 
So that's nine WrestleMania features in WWE 2K24, but if you want to see more, then check out our Did You Know series, which highlights the game's hidden features, secrets, and Easter eggs as we have new videos up every single week. Until next time though, thank you so much for watching this video, have yourself an awesome day, and I'll catch you later.